Hey everyone, this is Matt, welcome back to my mod venture here, and this is episode 14? Oh, that's crazy. And again, we are here, we're set with the four doggies, I've pushed them all back so we can actually see them all here. So, bluey, greeny, purpley, and magenta -y. all now have proper names. Inventory's not changed too much from before. Again, I kind of, I checked the world after the um, time lapse recording yesterday and then kind of stopped, so. The dogs did fix, by the way. They are all back. I'll go over there in a moment. But today we are deciding on names. So I've read the comments. I've decided on some of my own that I like as well. Mix them all in. So thank you for everyone who tweeted and put comments. So what we've got, Bluey is now officially known as Anubis. Look at that. Look at him. Yeah. Greeny is now known as Link, which is of course a reference to probably my favourite game franchise, which is The Legend of Zelda. Purpley, there, is going to be known as Lilith, which is a reference to Borderlands. And the magenta one over at the uh, the far right there is going to be known as Esther. Now, Esther's... Actually, I decided on that name because of Nino Kuni. If no one's played or heard of this game, it is amazing. It's a Japanese RPG on the PS3, and it is fantastic. It's how I'm spending my time in between... Uh, like mod venture recordings and sleep and personal stuff, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, Nino Kuni, I am pretty far on, and I love the thing. So there we go. And of course, over here, um, as before, we have Amadeus the orange, Zemos the yellow, and Clara the pink in the back there. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. So today, we will be. Processing all the ores we got from the quarry, we'll be setting that up, and while that's running, we're actually going to build a proper stables for Shadowfax. Um, while it wasn't the thing that was most voted for um, in the in this week's thing, in the vote at the end of last week, um, you know, I, I kind of decided that I still wanted to make one anyway, so... Right, I'm just checking through all this stuff, see what we've got up here. We've got a bunch of iron... So let's drop that through. It's going to take us a while to process a lot of this stuff, I feel. Um, where is the macerator? Put that in there as well. Having two kind of works pretty well. And um, the MFE is a little low on power. Um, a little low on power. So I am going to grab some more coal and use that. Because it's always good. But yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed the time lapse. I, the episode has just re released when I'm recording this, so initial reactions look pretty good. Thank you very much, everyone who has watched and all that. Let's put these out. We will um, continue um, probably some more time lapse buildy stuff in a few weeks, or whenever you guys kind of vote for that kind of stuff again. Uh, it was pretty easy to do, and I quite liked the result. I really love that song by Approaching Nirvana as well. If you haven't seen the time lapse, go check out yesterday's episode. So, let's grab this tin. Did I bring any more? I left all the rest of the coal in there. There's so much down there. It's crazy. Yeah, see, that one's gone now. Right, let's sort this out. Always fun to uh, sort through all of our mass of things from the quarry. Okay, let's grab a few pieces. Again, I've just yet the generators run so that the MFE is kind of keeping up with itself because it is night time. Now, one thing someone said to me about this, and I made a comment of actually replying to it, is why don't you sleep? It's a very, very good point. Um, I thought they were actually talking about it in real life. Uh, but no, in-game, I should sleep more. Now, I don't actually want my bed to be down here when we actually do the interior decorating for the base. But look at all that stuff that says it needs to be updated. I should really update my FTB soon. But yes, here we are. Look at this. Beautiful. It's all all finished and all built. And, uh... Um... Um... Uh... Um... Um... That's all the sounds I can make. I'm, I would like to kill those Endermen. Yes! End pearls are going to be useful if I want to make that. Um, where did he go? Is he on the roof? They're going to be useful if I want to make. What was it? What was it? Oh, the um, the portal. I also want to make an end chest. Um, I believe are they craftable now in this? Let's see. I have end. Uh, 
and chests, let's see. Yes, fairly cheap. And the reason why I like them so much, you can also get an ender pouch, which um, I believe works very similarly. But why ender chests are pretty good is I could place one of those next to a quarry, let everything pump into that, and then on this side have another ender chest and like a relay going from that pulling out and then going straight into all the sorting downstairs so then I don't have to have like a little base around my next quarry. Um, I think that'll be pretty useful if I actually do that. Again, comments about what you guys think about that. Uh, I really need more chests. Everyone keeps telling me to get like iron chests and stuff and I left them, didn't I? Over at the quarry. I should probably go get those at some point. Okay, that's my inventory sorted out. I didn't want to show too much of that. It was pretty boring. What do we got? More iron dust. Pulverized iron. That's an almost full stack. Just fill this. I don't know. Do I not have any of that going yet? Let's put that in there. Uh, I don't have any coal right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm just running backwards and forwards in this base at the moment. I really need to set up channels where it, if it knows that it's empty, it'll just funnel stuff there. But I believe that if I did that, it would just become wasteful um, with certain things. So I always do that. I always click the bag and it glitches out and thrown on the floor. Right. So the main goal of this episode is that Goram, yes, Goram, if anyone doesn't know reference to that, go watch Firefly, um, stables, we'll be building that, I want to know if I can see that Enderman, I can't believe they were just hanging in there with Jeremy, but yes, this is the base now, actually flying around it, this is it in its mostly finished state, there's a few things I want to add, like more of these uh, basalt pillars that you can see inside, I also want to, oh, my jetpack just died, I also, now that we've got this new type of glass up there, I also want to add, like, marble pillars within the glass, so it breaks that up a little bit. And um, that'll be pretty good. Oh, someone was telling me that I could also maybe rope um, shadow effects, which I'm not sure about, so I am going to try that out. Uh, so we'll try to build a rope. I believe we have some string. Uh, we can always go down and check the flax seeds. If we don't, I thought we had more string. I definitely had more string last episode. Let's check down here. Again, look at all this diamond and stuff. We still, we have got so much from that one quarry. Um, when we go, eventually when you guys vote for me going to the Twilight Forest, I think we're going to have some fun because we got all this. I, I also want to set up a base in the Twilight Forest, probably very close to the portal. And uh, maybe get quarries going um, in the Twilight Forest near the big hills, um, which have all the minerals in. That's another goal that I've just set right there. There's some string. Now, rope is two pieces of string? Three pieces of string? Ah, oh, five pieces of string. Okay. Which, I have six, so I'll do. Why do I have some spotted snake eggs? Right, there we go. Got some rope. So let's see if we can tie Shadow Facts down while we actually do some work out here. Uh, Shadow Facts. Right, so. No. No. Nope. I can't. Oh, I'm very sorry, Shadow Facts. Uh. No. Right, well, that doesn't work, so I'm just going to have to, like, cage you in or something. Um, do I have any? I don't have anything. Okay, so I got some... I put the rope away, and I got some cobble here. And I'm just going to try to build this up. You can see me trying to jump, because I'm trying to... I'm used to the jetpack, but I don't have it. It's charging right now. Right, come here, Shadow Effects. Up here. Sit down. Sit. You can't really tell a horse to sit down, can you? Go in. In. Maybe I should just put you in the pen. I don't think you'll fit in, though. No. I think you're too fat, Shadow Effects. I just need to tear down most of this fence, because I hate it. I think it's ugly. I've never really liked fence in Minecraft. It's really good on, like, overhangs of buildings, like... 
depending on era and time of building designs, but other than that, no. Right, so let's tear all this down and actually do some proper, like, outside building today. Because it really needs it. Outside just looks horrible, in my opinion. I made this so quickly and so rushed just to kind of cage shadow effects in. Um, that, yeah. We need to do a little bit of terraforming as well over this area, because that's kind of where I wanted the stable to be. So, that should be pretty interesting to try to get that looking good. Okay, so that's the fences cleared, and I grabbed some dirt from down in the storage room. There's another bit of fence there. And I'm now kind of just going to smooth this out here, so it's at kind of this level. This is the level right here that I'm on now, that I want it at. So, this is where the stable is going to be built. It's not going to be very big, because we aren't actually going to be getting any of the horses. It is just going to be a single horse uh, kind of stables. We don't need any more horses if we've got shadow facts. You know, that's all we need. And we probably will go out on a journey with shadow facts at some point as well, like go riding off into the distance. Which should be, uh, should be a fun day. Probably get very lost. <laughs> it's a good thing we have waypoints. I think I probably would have already gone lost if it wasn't for waypoints. And as you probably can tell, the audio is a little better again today, because yesterday I had my laptop next to me, which, uh, it was very close to the microphone for one thing, and it was like, not happy. Well, it was. It was just doing what it does, I suppose. So. Just gonna build this up a little bit. I'm surprised I did not take damage there. I'm guessing that was because of the nano boots, which work like long fall boots, I guess. Is that all of the? Oh, oh my god! Hopefully, it'll be able to fit in there. The stables. Let's get the shape kind of done with the fences. So, I'm just going to go up here. And then go that far back. And yeah, it might work. One. Oh, I can't get that one right now. One. Okay. I think this will work. I've got some wood here, some oak. I'm gonna leave like half and then I'm gonna turn the rest into slabs. Uh, let's see. Yep, that should be pretty good. And I could have really used some more dirt. Let me go grab some. Okay, I'm back and the roof is pretty much done at this point. I think I'm just gonna fill this bit in here bit tricky because of that there, but I might use some um, micro blocks and stuff just to kind of make this look a little better. I'm just trying to get the general shape laid out here. Uh, four. Four. Okay, I need that side. I don't think Shadow Effects is going to fit through there, but we shall find out. We may need to make the gates again and make it one higher. Oh. Yeah, it definitely needs to be one higher. Okay. How are fence gates made again? Is it sticks and wood? Is it like that? Yeah. Alright. I'll do... I'll make one. Actually... Can we just get you in like that? Yeah. There we go, Shadow Effects. Sweet. I don't think mobs can actually pass through those either, so... I'm actually thinking of maybe just leaving this a gap here. Doesn't look too bad. I might, again, get rid of this and do micro blocks up there. I'm going to make them first, so... Now, fences. Right. We should have enough fences over here. Now we can tear down, that will be, let's see, eight, yeah that'll be enough to fill in this side, one, two, three, four, five, there we go, alright, I'm going to go grab my, oops, my diamond handsaw, and have a go at making some different wooden blocks for uh, this to make it look a lot better. 
Okay, so I got some log, and I was kind of interested to see if you could maybe cut... You can cut this up. I wonder what this is going to look like as these. Specifically, actually, these. I'm going to check that out um, before I change it all into kind of that stuff. Because I'm wondering if we change these to log, how effective it might be. Oh, I like that. That's really nice, actually. Kind of breaks it up a lot more. I'd even go as far as maybe putting it on the corners as well. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make some more. Be right back. Let's see. Yeah. Pretty good. That's a little stable shot effects. And then we can tear all this down. And again, we don't have that hideous um, just fence going around it. I don't really like fences that much. In that kind of way, they look pretty good. Again, there's still some stuff I'd like to do with that to make it look better. Add a few more blocks and stuff to it but definitely happy with this and I also want to uh, kind of build this out to be more of a courtyardy area but now I'm going to ditch all of this stuff in here okay I got a few pieces of log here we're just gonna make a oops where did I put that there a tree tap and uh, yeah grab the bits of sticky resin that we've been growing on here that I've seen Pretty much every day I've edited, I've been like, why have I not got those yet? Doesn't seem to be many on these kind of trees around here. Maybe some, maybe some of them are like dying. Um, all right, let's see. Let's get this spider. Die! God, I love that nano saber. Things are awesome. And oh, that was that was a few pieces. And it looks to be it. Oh, nope, there's some more here. Yeah, and I saw another one over here. And... I think that's it. Nope, there's one all the way down here. Sweet. 15 pieces of sticky resin. I'll put those in the extractor. Because now we have this setup set in here. It's just so much easier, really, to do anything. Okay, and that'll just start working. Everything seems pretty good. <laughs> the MFE is full and it's still filling up with the um, the uh, solar panels, so it's not draining super quickly, which is pretty good. How's things going over here? Looks like the iron dust and pulverized iron is done. So let's see, what else can we do? Okay, so the first layer I'm going to do is going to be these. Now, someone's told me to be clever and do that instead, so I'm going to do that instead so that they actually come out as the double slabs, makes things a little quicker. Thank you, comment section again. And... Will we have enough? No, but okay. We can start. So, here we're going to have, um, I think, kind of a little path going up to Brian there, and then here we're going to build kind of like separating paths. But I'm going to use the marble brick and the handsaw again. So let me grab some of these. And some of these. Marble brick, diamond handsaw. And then again, from the side. Oh man, my inventory. My inventory. Uh, what can I throw on the ground? There we go. And the string. We got more than enough. All right. Probably too many, but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these like this. Kind of like curbs. Uh, do I want to do maybe sharp edge there? Okay. So we can actually take these pieces here. Oh. See, this is where I get kind of thingy because these aren't now lined up correctly. Because there's a block overhang there. Yeah, it's kind of tricky to figure out. I think I might... Uh, where's my dirt? Actually, just put this on dirt there. Okay. So, pretty good so far. Again, it's uh, just kind of laying it out here. So, next what we're going to do is put these up to Brian Jr. I 
Yeah, so we need to split that. Three more. One, two. Yeah, we definitely need to go make some more of those. Alright, I got three more. It's going to take way, like, a lot longer to get any more, but... Alright, let's see. And now I've got, like, six of these, so I'm just going to place these here. And go back to the marble slabs. See, this corner here is going to be really tricky. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Don't know how I want to do that. What I'm thinking I could do is maybe if I put the handsaw with this, you yeah, get one of these little slab corner pieces. What can I throw away? That spider eye. Uh, what these little slab corner pieces will do is there we go. Sweet. And do the same over this side. Here. And there we go, I've got paths going. There's a turkey just running through the house. Yes, gobble gobble. Right, so looking pretty good so far. I don't really have anywhere for this to go. I was just kind of planning on leaving it like this for now and then maybe making like a gateway here or something, but this is pretty good, I think, for kind of the outside to start with. Pretty happy with that. Um, again, I've got so many different chests going on. They're so full. I need to organize these. I will try to do that in between episodes a little bit better. Because at the moment it's just a mess. All the Look at this. So like, what is this? Just a bunch of dyes. Oh, man. Okay, so as my inventory is overflowing and I need to organize stuff, I will say goodbye for today. Um, they're just watching out. Oh. Yeah, hello guys, hello. Clearly Lilith doesn't want to turn around, but okay. And, uh, yeah, so everything is good. The dogs have names, finally. After, what, I think I got them on Monday or Tuesday. Crazy. Okay, so thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.